It is time for a thermal drone showdown between the DJI M30T, the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T, and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. We're gonna tell you which drone might be right for you. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Who are we? Who is Aerial Influence? Well, we're drone dealers, we're consultants. We do a lot of things when it comes to enterprise drones and agricultural drones. So just wanted to get that out there right away. Today we are comparing thermal drones. What's a thermal drone? A thermal drone is a drone that has a thermal sensor on it, meaning it's gonna be able to read heat signatures. So say you've got a lost kid out in the middle of a field, you can fly the drone over that field. You can actually see heat signatures and you'll be able to tell like, hey, something over there is a lot hotter than something over here and it's going to help you find that kit so that's what a thermal drone is and we're going to compare three drones the dji m30t which is brand new i just did a full video on that one so if you want to check that out you can do that either here or here it's one of those spots but we're comparing that drone to the dji matrice 300 rtk with the zenmuse h20t camera mounted to that and the mavic 2 enterprise advanced all of these drones have their own pluses their own minuses they excel in one thing they don't excel in something else but we're going to walk through different categories and tell you which drone wins in each category so let's get started Okay, first up, we got to talk about the thermal sensors. How are the thermal sensors on each one of these drones? Well, to be honest with you, it's a tie. Each drone has a high resolution 640 by 512 resolution thermal sensor on board. So they all have really, really great thermal sensors on them. So it is a bit of a tie, but to be honest with you, if thermal is the only thing that matters to you, if that is the number one thing you are looking for in a drone, then you gotta go with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Why? Because it's a lot cheaper than these other two drones. I'm gonna tell you more about pricing later on, but if I'm someone that only cares about a thermal sensor on a drone, I'm going with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced just because it's got that same high resolution thermal on it, but on a much cheaper platform. All right, let's talk about the zoom capabilities of each of these drones. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance is going to be coming in at the low end. It's got a 32 times digital zoom only in photo mode. So you've got 32 times. It's going to be really digitized though. As you can see right here, the more you zoom, the worse it gets. Moving on to the M30T, this thing has an amazing zoom lens on it. It has a 16 times optical zoom on it. It has a 200 times digital zoom on it. You can see right here, I'm zooming into the Sears Tower. Just so you can see exactly what this drone can do with that awesome camera on it. And let's move on now real quick to the Zenmuse H20T, which sits aboard the Matrice 300 RTK. It also has an amazing zoom range, but this one has a 23 times optical zoom on it. So you're gonna get better quality up to 23 times in that zoom range. And then it goes digital up to 200 times. You're seeing here, this thing is an awesome zoom as well. And because of the fact that it has that better quality, that 23 times optical zoom, I'm giving this one to the DJI Matrice 300 RTK with the Zenmuse H20T. All right, let's talk about flight time. The DJI Matrice 300 RTK is gonna give you the best flight time. They say 55 minutes, but once you get your gimbals on it, depending on if you've got two gimbals mounted or even three gimbals mounted, it's gonna continue to bring that time down. So realistically, you're looking at over 40 minutes, closer to like 44 minutes of flight time if you averaged it in, but that's a great flight time for the Matrice 300 RTK. Moving on to the DJI M30T. They say 41 minutes, you're really gonna get probably around 35 minutes. And then the Mavic Enterprise Advance is coming in at about 25 minutes in real world flight time. So if you really want the longest flight time, you got to go with the Matrice 300 RTK. It does take two batteries, as does the M30T. So I guess one of the positives of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is that it does only take one battery to operate it. But if you're judging strictly on flight time, you got to go with the Matrice 300 RTK. Next up is maximum flight speed. So the DJI Matrice 300 RTK comes in at about 51 miles per hour. We tested that, it's, that's about accurate, about 51 miles an hour in sport mode. Uh, same thing with the M30T. And then of course the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced that is coming in at 44 miles per hour. So in this category, you gotta go with the Matrice 300 RTK or the M30T. They are both going at 51 miles per hour if speed is the main thing in your life and you want to go really really fast then the, those are the two drones you want to go with 
All right, let's talk about deployment time. Both the M30T and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, you're gonna be able to deploy either one of these in under a minute. That's right, under one minute, you can get these drones from inside the box to up in the air. Pretty, pretty incredible. When it comes to the Matrice 300 RTK, it's gonna take you a little over two minutes because you gotta roll the box up, you gotta unpack everything, you gotta put the legs on, you gotta spread the arms out, and then get it up in the air. So it does take a little bit longer. It's an amazing drone, don't get me wrong, uh, but it does take a little bit longer to deploy that drone. So if getting the drone up in the air quickly is your main concern, is the one thing that you want from a drone, you're gonna want either the M30T or you're gonna want the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Next up, let's talk about the laser range finders on these drones. Both the M30T and the M300 do have laser range finders on it. That means the drone can be up in the air, can point at an object or a structure. It can tell you how tall that object is. It can give you the GPS coordinates and other information as well. That's a pretty handy tool to have when you're doing search and rescue operations. Unfortunately, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced has no laser range finder on it. So in this category, it's a tie between the DJI M30T and the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T. Okay, next up, do these drones have obstacle avoidance? Absolutely they do. They all have obstacle avoidance. Uh, both the M300 and the M30T more so, there's just more space to put sensors 360 degrees all the way around the drone. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced also has sensors all the way around it, but to a lesser extent than the M30T and the M300. But look, sensors and obstacle avoidance, they're like seat belts. You gotta make sure you have them, but you never wanna have to use them. So use your sensors wisely. If you think you're getting close to anything, just stay away from it. Don't wait for the sensors to go off. Fly smart, fly safely. They all have great obstacle avoidance, so I'm calling this one a tie. Let's move on to active tracking. Now this is a great feature on the M30T and on the H20T, which is on the Matrice 300 RTK. When you activate active track, you are able to touch on a subject. So that could be a person, it could be a car, and the drone is gonna track that subject potentially for miles and miles. Now the drone doesn't actually follow the subject itself. It's not flying. It's gonna stay in the same position, but using the powerful cameras on both the H20T and the M30T, they're able to follow subjects for miles and miles until it goes behind a building or it goes under tree cover but really really impressive technology unfortunately the mavic 2 enterprise advanced does not have this feature so i'm calling this one a tie between the m30t and the matrice 300 rtk with the h20t all right, next up, let's talk about the range from the remote control to the drones. In other words, how far away can the drone fly before it loses connection with the remote? So the Matrice 300 is nine miles, supposedly. The M30T is nine miles, supposedly. And the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is six miles, supposedly. Now I say supposedly because that is best case scenario, but even so, nine miles or six miles or 52 miles, it doesn't matter because that's way out of your line of sight. Here's the thing, they all have great transmission systems and they're gonna be able to fly as far as you're gonna be able to see. So the M300 and the M30T, technically they take this category, but the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced also has a very respectable range. Now let's talk about payloads. With the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, it actually comes with three payloads that you can put on the top of the drone. You've got a speaker, you've got a spotlight, and you've got a beacon. You've also, of course, got your thermal camera and your 4K camera, which are mounted below. So it is nice to change things up. It is nice to be able to put those different payloads on top, dependent on what you need at the time. And it's really nice that it comes with the price of the drone. There's another attachment for the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. We're gonna tell you a little bit more about that in just a little bit, but let's move on to the M30T. The M30T has a fixed payload, meaning the camera is not gonna move. You can't take it off. However, there is a spot on top that you can plug in through USB-C and connect third-party accessories like this speaker and spotlight combination. Now, there are gonna be other third-party attachments as well, but we really like the versatility that even though you've got a fixed payload on the bottom with that 
amazing camera, but you also have the flexibility to put something on top, whether that's a parachute or it could be a gas sensing sensor. And with the M300 RTK, obviously you are able to do a bunch of different combinations. You could have two gimbals on the bottom and one gimbal on top. You can have just two gimbals on the bottom. You can just have one gimbal on top. You also have more options in camera. So not only do you have the H20T with the thermal, but you have the H20 that doesn't have any thermal. You have the L1, which is a LiDAR sensor. You also have the P1, which is a really high quality imaging sensor. And there are spotlights and speakers and other things that you can also attach to this drone. So in terms of versatility of all the payloads, you gotta go with the M300 RTK here. They really give you all sorts of configurations for this drone to make it work the way you need it to. Next up is hot swappable batteries. What does that mean? It means you can land your drone, you can replace one battery, put a new battery in, then replace another battery, put a new battery in. You never have to turn the drone off and it goes right back up and flies again. So you don't have to do the whole rebooting thing. Turn the remote off, turn the drone off, go turn it back on. It's a really nice feature with both the M30T and the M300. Both of them, you can hot swap your batteries. You cannot hot swap your batteries with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, unfortunately. So if you need hot swappable batteries if you need to be able to land this thing and switch those batteries out right away to get it back up in the air you're going to want to go with either the m30t or the m300 all right let's talk about operating temperatures for the m300 it is negative 4 to positive 122 that is the same for the m30t however for the mavic 2 enterprise advanced we are talking about positive 14 to positive 104. So it doesn't do quite as well in terms of operating temperatures, but the Matrice 300 RTK and the M30T, if you're gonna be working in lots of cold or if you're gonna be working in lots of hot, you might wanna go with one of these drones instead. All right, RTK, that stands for Real Time Kinematics. If RTK is important to you, you already know what it means. The M300 has built-in RTK. All you gotta do is log into an NTRIP network or connect with the DRTK2 base station. Same thing for the M30T. Now I told you earlier about another attachment you could put on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. That is the little RTK top hat that you can put on top of the drone. You can only connect that to an NTRIP network. So if your state or your local farming area has an NTRIP network that you can log into, you'll be able to use it. That's how you're gonna be able to use Use your Mavic with that RTK top hat. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance cannot connect with the DRTK2 base station from DJI. So if RTK is super important to you and you need it to be really reliable without having to rely on an NTRIP network, you want to go with the M300 or you want to go with the M30T. All right, let's talk about dual controllers. Now this RC Plus for the new M30T is a very impressive remote control, feels great in the hands. But did you know you can add a second remote to this drone setup so that you could have dual controllers? One person controls the camera, one person controls the drone. There's an FPV camera on the front of the drone that allows the pilot to just look straight ahead. He always knows where he's flying, where the second pilot serves as a cameraman. He is literally just controlling the camera. This is a great feature for the M30T. It's also a great feature for the Matrice 300 RTK. Although it uses the older smart controller interface, you still are able to have dual controllers, a really handy feature to have, especially in a search and rescue operation. Now, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, it does not have dual controller capabilities. So you're not gonna be able to do any of that stuff. So in this category, you gotta go with the M300 RTK and the M30T. All right, let's talk about pricing. Let's start with the cheapest. We're gonna talk about the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. It's the smallest, it's the one that has the least amount of features, but it is still a very, very capable drone and comes in at under $7,000 all in. That's with three batteries, that's with a hard case, that's with multi-chargers. Now $7,000 might sound like a lot to you, but five, 10 years ago, a thermal camera alone was well over $10,000. So to have it on a drone this small really is incredible. And like I said, if thermal is your main concern, if that is the first thing that comes to your mind when you're looking at a drone, go with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. It's the cheapest and it still has that high resolution thermal. So if thermal is your main thing, 
go with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm going from cheapest to the most expensive. We're gonna go with the M300 RTK with the H20T. So if you're getting the H20T and you wanna put a spotlight on it and you wanna put a speaker on it as well, obviously the price is gonna to continue to go up and up from there. Batteries are also very expensive for this and it takes two batteries. So between 25 and $30,000, just depending on what you're gonna to add to this whole package. Let's move on to the drone that is somewhere in the middle in so many different ways, including the price. It's right at $14,000, so double the price of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, a little less than half the price of the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T and other things that you want to add to that. But if you want all of these features, you're going to have to pay for it. And before somebody at home says, oh, well, your average person couldn't afford this drone. Yeah, we know. We know the average person couldn't afford that. These are for corporations. These are for search and rescue operations. These are not for Joe Blow who wants to sit on his couch and learn how to fly a drone outside of his window. Go for a Mini 2, go to Best Buy, they're gonna be able to help you there. So that is all I've got for today. I wanna to thank you guys for checking out our channel. We really appreciate it. Put a lot of work into this and we appreciate that more and more of you seem to be watching what we're doing. We hope you'll hit like and subscribe and we hope you'll give us a call or shoot us an email if you're interested in learning more about these drones or if you wanna buy one. You know, that'd be cool. Give us a call. All right, we appreciate you stopping by and we will see you next time.